Okay. I'm Terrell Jones, also known as G-C. So here's what we're going to do. All right. So here, tonight we're here to celebrate these awards empowerment, empowered by disadvantage. So I have a little improv poem that just, you know, this is what I felt when I read it, okay? okay. So I just want to take y'all through this for a second. Is that okay? Yes. I said, is that okay? Yes. Okay, okay, so now I'm feeling it. Now it feels good. Now follow me. See, I was thinking about my journey today. You know, my journey of happiness and pain, which hopefully will equal success, because sometimes those things aren't always the same. You can go through enough of that drive you insane just trying to figure out which line is the main, you know, pathway to take. Should you go left? Should you go right? How do you deal with the love versus the hate? They try to pull you down. See, because they say you can't make it when you sound how you sound. They say you can't make it when you look how you look. I don't know if y'all read the book, but I guarantee by the time you're done, it'll free you from that point that feels shook. Because sometimes you can be a little nervous about it. It gives you a bunch of different perspectives. I need you to understand because life can make you go a little reckless. See, the things that will hold you back sometimes are things you're born with. These are problems that they tell you are problems, but at the end of the day, they can become a gift. See, these are the things that they will tell you will bury you, but you inside yourself have the tools to uplift. These are the lessons you will receive that you can never forget. See, so if that's what success is, through the pain and the happiness, I have to understand that what I will get through from the endurance will help me outlast this. I mean, these moments when my disadvantages become my advantages, I have to embrace it. Because we spend so much time fighting it that we refuse to face it. Those are the moments when we swear we won't make it. I'm talking about motherless, fatherless, childless. Those are the moments that we say, I can't rise above this. I mean, some will have to deal with the issues of infertility, meaning they can't take that step to give for what they want, to have that child born and look in the mirror like they aren't what they are. When I look at my kids, I understand that I can feel blessed, but also realize that some people don't have that. So I have to digress for a second. How can we learn from this message? How can I gain some new perspective from being black in America where they'll say any given time somebody can just pull open and pull it out, and they're not just trying to see it. These things that can hold me back at any given time, I have to allow and motivate me. I can feel it from my soul, spirit, and spine. This is how I stay on my grind. Empowered by these disadvantages. These things that they say I go through, these moments when they swear I can't handle it, these moments that have built me up and they told me with this mantle it. Yeah, that's what I get. So I've heard that message. I mean, I've really embraced it. And I mean, let's face it, our future is out there. No matter what holds us back, it's theirs for the take. Thank you. Yeah.